like to show you how to obtain information from a switch through MIB. First, let's look at some important concepts. 1. MIB. MIB stands for Management Information Base. It stores all the maintenance variables of the devices managed by the network management system. The maintenance variables include the device name, status, access rights, and data type of the managed object. An MIB adopts the tree structure. The leaves are managed objects. Each object is uniquely identified by a path originating from the root. This path is called OID. 2. OID. OID stands for Object Identifier. An OID consists of zero and positive integers. The OID identifies the location of an object in the MIB tree. For example, 1.3.6.1.2 is the OID of the management object. The NMS uses OIDs to manage the objects in agents. 3. NMS. The NMS uses the simple network management protocol to manage and monitor network devices. NMS software is run on a server. The NMS has the following functions. One, the NMS sends requests to the agents running on managed devices to query or modify parameter values on the devices. Two, the NMS receives the traps sent by the agents running on managed devices to obtain device data. Four, SNMP. SNMP is a network management protocol widely used on TCP IP networks. It allows the NMS to manage network devices. An SNMP system contains the NMS, Agent, Management Object, and MIB. Today, we will look at obtaining information through MIB, which means that the NMS uses SNMP to access information matching an OID from a switch. Now, let's look at the configuration example. First of all, you must ensure that a reachable route exists between the NMS and the switch, and both the NMS and switch support SNMP. Here is the configuration roadmap. 1. Configure SNMP on the switch, for example, SNMP VTC. 2. Install the NMS software, for example, NetSNMP. 3. Use MIB to obtain switch information through the NMS. The configuration procedure is as follows. Configure the switch. Step 1. Set the SNMP version to V2C. Step 2. Set the SNMP community name to admin123. Configure the NMS. Step 1. Install the NetSNMP software. NetSNMP is third-party software. Obtain it through a formal channel and install it according to the software use guide. Step 2. Use the NetSNMP software. This software reads MIB information on the switch through command lines. For details about the command lines, see the NetSNMP software use guide. Here is an example of the SNMP walk command. Dash B refers to the SNMP version. In this example, the SNMP version is V2C. Dash C refers to the community name. In this example, the community name is admin123. IP address refers to the IP address of the switch. In this example, the IP address is 10.137.217.203. OID refers to the ID of the object read by the NMS. In this example, the OID is 1.3.6.1.2.1.1.5. Now let's see the command line operation. Log into the switch, enter the system view, and set the switch name to switch. Set the SNMP version to V2C and SMP community name to admin123. Log into the NMS for example, an NMS server running a Windows operating system. Click Start and enter CMD. Open the BIN directory. The location of this directory is decided by the NetSNMP software installation path. Now 
example 1. Query the CPU usage. Step 1. Run the fnmp walk command to view the physical entity name. Find mpu board 14. The corresponding index entry is 70778889. Step 2. Run the fnmp walk command to query the CPU usage. CPU usage corresponding to index 70778889 is 15. So the CPU usage of MPU board 14 is 15%. Example 2. Query the memory usage. Run the fnmp walk command to query the memory usage. The memory usage corresponding to index 70778889 is 29. So the memory usage of MPU board 14 is 29%. Example 3. Query the power consumption of the switch. Run the FNMP watt command to query the power consumption. The current power consumption is 309,000 milliwatts. That's all for today. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches thread. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, all about switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches thread describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.